All righty, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the afternoon-ish. Um, yeah, we're going to do Maradon. Uh, no, well, you already know what I'm going to do. I don't actually know what I'm going to do, but we're going to do it. We're going to do Maradon, no pause, I think. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. We've got four total um, two difficulty maps. I already did Gloucester, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did Gloucester. Let's do Maradon. Let's do Maradon. Now, Maradon is interesting because it's the first map that I played casually back in the day and I actually um, failed on multiple times because I didn't understand uh, how things worked. I didn't understand the difference between crazy trains and not crazy trains, so yeah. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. But now I understand the difference. And now we are going to do it without pausing, which is going to be even more interesting. So let's get our zoom level map zoomed in at the correct amount. We could sort of zoom it in there, but we'll zoom it out a bit more so we can see the edges. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, Maradon. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I already messed that up? So yeah. So we've got a couple of crazy trains. In this level, anything starting with P is a crazy train, I believe. So this guy is definitely a crazy train. I'm pretty sure we can send that one all the way through to Amani 2. Uh, there's not going to be anything else. This is Road 9 1. Going to Maradon 1. Uh, from a general point of view, I always send the crazy trains on the bottom route because it means they don't have to slow as much when they... I'm not sure if that, if you actually have to slow when you go through that little corner there. Um, we could watch it, but this train's going to take a little while to get through there. Um, Dockside 2, Gold Hill 2. <clears throat> That's just going to go straight through behind this one, uh, I suspect. May have to wait a little bit, but it is a freight train. And then this guy, uh, might as well just map that one out a little bit. And yeah, we can fast forward at least 30 seconds here. A little bit more. There we go. This guy sits there for two minutes and then starts up. That's not an issue. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Wait until Maradon 1 starts moving at least a little bit. Okay. We're already... A little bit too much. I should probably not be pressing this 10 times button. That's probably a little bit scary. Okay, there we go. So we've got three crazy trains on the map. They're all pretty much sorted. Um, this one will have to do some manual signaling to get it moving, but that's behind that one, so that's fine. Dockside. Upcoming train. 8.07, that's another three minutes. And that one's going straight into upstream. So yeah, that's not really a big deal. So we're just going to send this one down platform two through the tunnel and then up to Gold Hill. It's not really an issue. Uh, no, it's not really an issue. We will have this one sit here and wait while this one goes through. We definitely want to send this one through there first. You're going to just sit there and wait till 8.09 and then you start leaving. And this one has to pass at 8.10. So this one will wait for this guy to go through, but it will go through before this one leaves. So this guy does get, have to get a bit of a move on. Hmm, that's a freight train. I have a feeling that this one stays there until 8.10. This one leaves at 8.09 and arrives at 8.12. So I have a feeling that the next one we're going to have to put on the bottom one and then let this one go all the way across before we send it to the right. Which is fine. So, FR211 goes down to number 3. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh... I clicked auto reverse on there, so that one should sort itself out. You just go straight through to there. You don't stop for very long. 
Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one goes all the way through, goes all the way up to Gold Hill. And that is not an issue. So yeah. We'll send you over to there. What do we got next? This is a freight train. Arrives at 8.15. This one arrives at 8.12. So it has to get there through there in four minutes flat. So, road one. We're going to send that one up there and then we're going to let it wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that's going to work. So this one, 718, it's going to go up there, it's going to wait. And then this one... You're a one. You you're actually pretty quick. So we're gonna start you on the way over there. So this one should have enough time to get through the tunnel, sit there and wait, and then we can send this one all the way through. As you can see, this one's still gonna go through the tunnel, so it's a little bit tight, but it should definitely get up this line before this one has to leave. But we may have to be a little bit quick at switching this guy through. Speaking of which, this is a P train. Still got to go through that tunnel, so this one will clear this line before this one needs to go over. And this is Maradon 2. And then this one will go there, and by the time this one gets there, this one should be ready to go across and go right. It's all taken care of, and let me guess, Dockside 1. Uh, this one's just a freight one, we're just going to have to play this by year, going right to left, um, which platform this goes along. Uh, presumably it'll be Omani 2. Yeah, there's no more trains. It's actually stopping in Omani 2, so we can send it into whichever one we want. Okay. Timing's getting a little bit tight there, but we're on one time speed, so that is fine. You are good. Now we just have to manually signal this one to go across when this one, P42, gets out of the way. So yeah, no pause run. Not too bad. Definitely not too bad. And as you can see, there is no way that this one was going to get there ahead. Um, so yeah, we'd either have to leave this one all the way back at the start and let this one go all the way through, which this one would almost certainly have been late if we did that, or we got to cross them over in the middle here. And it's, it's pretty much the same strategy as for the pause run, except just a little bit more skill required. Well, sort of. I mean... For these maps, not really. Later on, I mean, maps like Wes are the ones that I'm really, uh, really worried about doing a no-pause run on because there's so much going on and it's such a huge map that, yeah, it is quite worrying. So that one is fine. Upstream is a little bit, a little bit worrying. Uh, you're going to road 9-2. You can speed this up a little bit. I think just a little bit. Let's let this P42 train go through. Uh, there we go. Now this one goes back down. It needs to go to Dockside 2. I think it's going to sit out there and wait. It waits for this one to go all the way through and then it goes down to the bottom. And then I'm not sure what it does. So where you go? Upstream number 1. It's a dockside one. There's no other train going from... I mean, there's this upstream one. So these guys are going to have to cross. Where you go? Upstream 17. This next one is... Darkside one, 816. That's interesting. Let's have a look at this dockside situation here. So this is... Because there's a lot of trains going through this guy. Um, and there's a crossover. So this one goes first. And then FR400. Which is probably this one upcoming. And then this one. And then another one. So there's quite a lot of trains. And that's the one that already left. Okay. Well, whatever. We're going to send this one into the tunnel first. Even though that's an 816, I think we need to send this one into the tunnel first because we can't let this one sit there forever. Uh, we just can't. And then it frees up both of these platforms to use when we're sending trains over there. So, yeah. 
you are going to get over there. We've got another, another freight train coming down from Gold Hill. Um, and plus, this is an 815, so yeah. If we sent this one through the tunnel first, this one would be stuck there. This one would have to go in behind this one. And this is passing at 815. And this is 815. So how the hell would that work? I do not know. But anyway. Send that one down to the bottom platform. Damn, these uh, these trains are quite slow. You are obviously, we're going to send you out to platform one because we're going to have to. You're good, you're dockside two. Leaving at 8.13. This might be a little bit tight, actually, getting this guy into dockside two in time. But I think we can make it. I think we can definitely make it. Mmm, -hmm, mm -hmm. mm, so tired. Just past six o'clock, I need to start getting my dinner. Dinner all set up. Hmm. So you are eight. Yeah, you're definitely, you need to go through ASAP. Yeah. But you took so long in that tunnel that there was really no point in making this one wait for you to go over. Uh, you're a P train, so we're definitely going to let the P train go first. We're not going to try and slip by. And I do believe I made that exact same comment when I was doing this in the pause run, in the old run. So, yeah. Hmm... Okay, you go through first. That one goes through. No more trains coming in the thing, so we can just let that one go. Cue that one up, get ready. Lament the fact that this track doesn't have any auto signals. Um, but yeah, you can just go straight through into the top, actually. We can send you all the way there. Once there's enough space for it. Just get it a little bit further along, along on the track. Speed it up just a little bit. That's enough. I'm still a little bit worried about that guy getting there on time, but I feel like it's okay. Let's speed it up a bit more. Just waiting for that tunnel to clear. Unfortunately, when you highlight over this, it highlights over the tunnel as well, so you can't see if the tunnel's clear or not which is quite annoying. I might just leave it on three times speed because I think we're good at the moment. You, I gotta just gotta make sure I send this one over to dockside two instead of just keeping it straight on dockside one. Hmm. Yes, I'm quite, quite tired today. And I didn't even do any videos this morning, or maybe one video this morning, but yeah. No, it's just, just been a long day, long day. Okay, we're pretty good. I can speed it up even more, because all I need to do is click one button. Got to wait until that FR718 leaves, and then I click this button, and then we're good. Done. Done. All the way done. And that was a no pause run of Maradon, which kind of rhymes. So there we go. Yeah, right now these no pause runs are quite boring, but they are going to get quite exciting later on. And the amount of attempts are probably going to go through the, through the roof. So we'll see how we go anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.